advice I got, you know, because I got a, a temper problem. So uh, my psychiatrist, shout out to Ariel, he, um, he told me, uh, you're going to get mad about something. Get mad, get mad about it tomorrow. Get mad about it later. Hey, yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, okay? Everything is all skirt. Stop your shit. Yo, what up? Uh, again, much love to everybody. I hope everybody's doing good and everybody is in, um, in good spirits as much as they can be during this um, pandemic. Uh, today, I wanted to come to you guys and talk to you guys about something that uh, always played a major role in my, my, uh, my character. Um, anger. My, my anger has always been my... I mean, not always been my worst enemy because sometimes it becomes an adversary. But for the most part, I'm I, I I could say I'm an anger-driven person. You know, you you see me walking down the streets, you would think I'm upset about something. That's just the look on my face. Yeah, I, I probably I'm upset about something though. Like remember the Hulk? Uh, he said uh, they asked. I, I think it was Iron Man or so, something that asked him, "What's your secret? Like, how do you you know how do you keep it in?" And he said, "Um, he said." You know, I'm always angry or something like that. Like, how do you how do you keep the the green guy from coming out? Is that I'm always angry? You know. So he found a way to combat his anger with anger. So I don't I don't think anger anger is always bad. Uh, Co-producer, can you help me out here? Hey Siri, what's the definition of anger? As a noun, it means a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Sure, why not? As a verb, it means fill someone with anger, provoke anger in. All right, so you heard the definition of anger. Give me that definition again, Siri. What's the definition of anger? Hey, 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 what's the definition of anger? Do your job, As bitch. Noun, means a strong, feeling a strong annoyance. A strong annoyance, a strong feeling of annoyance, to be heavily annoyed by something, is to be angry. And, oh man, yo, yo, anger has driven me to do outlandish things. Like, I have over 26 stitches in my hand from putting my hand through a, a glass barbed security window because I was arguing with an ex-girlfriend and I got upset. Yeah. Anger, I've gotten beat up because my dumbass mouth, because I, I I, didn't think before I spoke. And I allowed my anger to run its course in that moment. I think anger is only unuseful when it's used improperly. Such as anything else, right? Anything else you, anything that you abuse can be, can become unuseful to you because you you no longer you outused it for its purposes you outused it you know i wouldn't think that somebody who's anger driven or was motivated by being angry is angry all their life but then again it's possible you know it's possible because they say money doesn't make the success so when we think about people that have money and they do like dumb shit like get into fights with people or they they they, they get into fights with their spouse or you know things of those natures where they they allow their anger to to be used in a an appropriate way um I th I think those are those are examples of, in which people use anger negatively. But now when I think about like the way that I've used it in a positive light you know, I, I, I've, I've went ahead and I've, I've gotten upset at the fact of the things I don't have and not only materialistic because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie about it. I like nice shit. I would like to buy a fucking, a Porsche. You know what I mean? 911, uh, RS2RS, you know, yeah, like GT2RS. I would like to, I, I would like to at least drive in one. I would like to be in a new Corvette, you know, driving one, a boat, driving one, you know, a private plane, driving one, you know. It's it's not that I, I love the lifestyle, but yes, my anger of seeing, and it's not hate. I think people need to separate the difference between having hate over something and being angry towards something. Anger, I use as my motivation. Hate 
just leaves you with defamation of character. Hate just leaves you not in a good spiritual place. When you hate on somebody for things, your 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 character, your inside is is now changed. I don't hate on people that are successful or have shiny things or have peace of mind. Nah, I don't hate on them. Good shit. I amend you. Don't abuse it. I get angered by the fact that I don't have those things yet for myself. This is how I've been putting forth my anger as my motivator. When I think when I see when I see whenever I see somebody on a TV, on oh, like done, DMX said it. See you on a TV, it could be done. Something gotta change, not to give, not to have a son. You know, you get a even in that song, slipping and falling. I think I think DMX might be the whole. Wow, it's crazy how I I am in pre-production while I'm producing. Oh, DMX might actually be a, a prime example for what exactly I'm speaking of. You know, like he is the mad rapper, not like the mad rapper that was on the Locks album and all that. But in general, you hear him well, the majority of his raps. You know, if you compare a a, a Fifty Cent album, Get Rich or Die Trying, and shit like that, to like the DMX album, no comparison. But if you compare, you know, like their voice and the the gangster. If you compare the way the gangster was delivered, even Eminem's gangster was delivered angrily. DMX is gang. DMX's sound, his aura, his essence was delivered angrily. See the magic that came out of that anger, where you know you you don't get the anger out of a hove, you don't get the anger out of a fifty. But we know their stories. We know their stories, and obviously there had to be moments in time where they were pissed the fuck off. I'm sure when 50 got shot nine times and he came out, you know, I'm sure he the reason why he was hitting that gym so hard and working out and he was angry at at the at the situation he was in. I ain't speaking on street shit how he got there, but the situation he was in itself drove him. You know, so he didn't have to put it in his raps. You know, he didn't have to have that sound that ambiance. But Believe you me, I compare, I, I, I closely, my ears, my ears, they turn into sweet tooths. Like my ears want that, that candy that comes from an angry person. Like, it's almost like, you know, why do you think Hitler, why do you think Hitler had all those, he had all those power over those people? All those people were suppressed for so long. All those people in Germany, so long, bottom of the barrel, going through so much shit, and then here comes this fuck. Nine, 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 nine. That anger was. It filled them. It. He. He blew up the stadium. He made that entire country go to war and just World War II take everything. Everything. You, you, when you when you think when you really think about. What anger can do, you know? Anger create. A- a- yes, you know we see all these evil things that anger does. Have. Yo, it does suck when uh, the, uh, a domestic violence thing gets worse and gets out of hand because one person gets angry with the other. It does suck when 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 two friends fight or when two strangers fight because one of the other was having a bad day. You know, it does suck when people get hurt and it was out of something that maybe if you just got mad at it later. And walked away from it. And came back and addressed it. You wouldn't have said what you said. Or you wouldn't have acted the way you acted. Or maybe. That was just disingenuous to your character. It wasn't you. It was you in the moment. There's a there's a big difference. You know. And, and anger. Anger used the wrong way. Is like a vaporizing gun. You know. I I say it. I, I, like my tongue cuts like a sword. I say it often. If I'm angry. Then I have to be responsible with this anger. I have to take it. Like I take my my psychiatrist's advice. Take it. Don't react to it right now. Get mad about it tomorrow, and see if the same reaction is there. It's like Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan said, "When you want to go see a girl, right? When when you want to go see a girl that guy, see a girl that bad. You see a girl, jerk off first. See if you want to see her that bad after." Certain things alleviate certain things. And the thing that alleviates anger or puts anger into perspective is time. Time time has time has gotten p- 
people where they were completely angry at me or I was angry at them. And time is what fixed that. Not seeing a person for a little while. And then when you see them, you're like, why the fuck was I mad again? And even if you have a real legitimate reason, time gave opportunity for you to reflect. So whether it be 10 years, a week, a day, an hour, four hours, if you get angry about something in the moment and your first initial thing is to lash, get mad at it tomorrow. Get mad at it tomorrow. Don't, don't, don't react in that moment. Because then you do foolish things. You put your hand through the window. You say something wrong to your spouse or your lover or your mother. You know, you, 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 you say something wrong to your little brother. Or you, know, or you say something you can't come back from. You know, what if you got a fucking, what if you got a fat sibling and you get into an argument with your fat sibling and you're fat tabelard? You just broke that person's spirit. And, and that might take a little while to come back from because now psychologically they're like, damn, I know I'm fat. Every time they look in the mirror, now they, their own family or flesh and blood thinks this about them. What the rest of the world thinks. See, that person has an opportunity right there to use that anger that they have and transform it into motivation. Transform it into not wanting to feel the way they were feeling. Use that anger to get up and make something out of it. Not use that anger and let it consume you and allow anger what anger wants to do. You heard the definition. Anger wants you to be annoyed. Anger wants you to be filled with animosity and tension. And that's what anger wants from you. So when you take it and you turn it into an energy, a positive energy. Or positive energy comes out of it. Because, you know, back to DMX. DMX's first album wasn't no fucking Sunshines and Rainbows. He's killing people. The ATF is in the crib. He, he found Damien. He, I, any hip-hop head knows who Damien is. So that anger, it's not like he was spitting about rainbows while he was mad. Nah. He was spitting out about real stuff that really angered him. That pained him. That he saw. But look what it turned into. It turned into magic for a person like me as a fan. It turned into it turned into motivation. It turned into a morale. It's not only he could do it, I could do it type of thing. It's more than that. It's that he was willing to express it and expose it. So it makes it okay. It makes it okay to express it and expose it in the right way. The only person he probably directly hurt with his music is himself. And that's the only person that you should probably only directly hurt with your anger. Is yourself. Yo, with that, I'm out of here. It's your boy, okay? Everything is out. Stop your shit, y'all.